so uh, uh, Swiss Blue Salon, uh, we are an early stage company and uh, what we want to uh, bring to the table, uh, so to speak, is uh, salmon without the typical problems. So uh, what problems do we have currently with salmon is that uh, actually salmon is a, is a very in interesting uh, fish and a very healthy fish but uh, it's most of the time not as sustainable as you would expect. Uh, that has three main reasons. One is that uh, traditional salmon farming, which is done in net cages in the sea, uh, has many negative impacts on the environment, uh, which involves the escape and, and mixing with the wild uh, population. And it includes also uh, uh, the parasites and etc., which had, uh, have to be uh, combated with uh, antibiotics, uh, which then again goes to the environment. And a second part is that wild farm uh, salmon also contains microplastic and parasites. Also, uh, a wild uh, salmon, especially for a country like Switzerland, has to be flown or shipped pretty far away, which is also bad for the, uh, uh, in terms of CO2, uh, which brings me to the third point, which is the long transportation. Sometimes you even have salmon that's, that, that's uh, kind of uh, picked up in, uh, in Alaska and then uh, flew to China uh, to be processed and then back to Switzerland for, uh, for production. So that's actually the problem uh, that exists. Uh, the solution that we are using to solve that is called rec recirculating aquaculture systems. So we are basically uh, taking uh, uh, the farming of salmon away from the whole environment and, uh, and farming it in, uh, in tanks, totally land-based from egg until the salmon is reached. Uh, these systems have been around for a while, but, uh, uh, but have now massively improved in the last years. And uh, uh, the main uh, advantages of such a system is that 99% of the water is recycled. So it's, it actually uses, uh, uh, doesn't use much water. And uh, since you're completely uh, away from the environment, it really is is free from parasites, antibiotics, or microplastics because you really have uh, the whole production under control. And uh, what we are aiming at is to build the smartest farm in the world. Um, and uh, in Switzerland for local uh, usage, which means the only transportation that will be left is the local transportation within our beautiful country. Uh, why uh, salmon as a species? Uh, salmon is actually a pretty healthy and uh, efficient uh, um, provider of uh, protein. And uh, I, I picked out four of the main uh, uh, typical things you look at when you look at different uh, 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 species. One is the, the feed conversion, which means um, uh, when you give an animal one kilogram of feed, how much uh, protein will it, uh, uh, will it generate? Uh, and salmon is there on the high, uh, highest side compared to all the others. It has a very fair CO2 footprint, uh, much better uh, uh, than, than beef or uh, pork and in a similar range than chicken. And uh, it has a low water consumption which to some degree is funny because it's a water species, but, uh, but as said, uh, since 99% of the water is recycled, it really needs much uh, less water than the land animals. And it's also very decent in terms of land space, only uh, in this specific aspect beaten by chicken, uh, which also has other reasons why it's probably not too good to have the chicken very condensed. Um, so this is why we, we want to uh, uh, produce salmon. We have um, found a location. We are still very early in the process. I will uh, share with you the process, uh, 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 our uh, progress in a moment. Uh, what we have done so far is we have uh, found a location. Location is the most important thing uh, to have an efficient uh, salmon farm. And uh, we scanned about 30 locations to finally come up with a location near the Valensee, uh, 
uh, that's a lake, an alpine lake, which is very deep and uh, has a lot of very, very clean water. And uh, uh, we mostly need the water, not because of the re uh, re uh, our system itself, as I said, 99% is recycled, but to cool down. We want to make it as efficient as possible. And if we cool down with water, we need, we need much less electricity. And, uh, and uh, also for other reasons, this is a very good location. It's, it's uh, located close to Zurich, uh, close to many of the towns and, uh, and, and has a very uh, good lo logistical aspect and a, a, a great uh, location. If you, look, if you look at our business plan um, and, and the milestones, uh, the, the company was founded in 2020, but we started work already in 2019. And within our uh, seed phase, we have uh, uh, done feasibility studies, found a location, hired a key management, most important person being the CTO, uh, Suna Merler, which we uh, could hire, who has a lot of experience in uh, aquaculture and there's not many people with such experience in the world. Uh, and we also selected uh, 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 the world leader of... Uh, of a RAS supplier and other uh, critical uh, suppliers. So, so that's where we are at the moment. We, we have had discussions with, uh, um, uh, uh, with the market side and have offtake a letter of intents from, uh, from large fish dealers in Switzerland, etc. cetera. And uh, we are entering now the design and permitting phase uh, uh, to actually bring our, uh, uh, our, our project from uh, throughout planning until building permission. And, and for that phase, we are looking at, about, at raising about 5 million. And uh, after this phase, uh, for the next few years, we will be constructing and in parallel also uh, starting off operations. Uh, we, will, uh, we will build in phases. And this will have a cash need of uh, 160 million. We have had a lot of discussions uh, with funds in that area. And that's actually within the sweet uh, spot of most of aquaculture funds and similar. Uh, so that we believe actually the Series B uh, uh, is going uh, is gonna to be well possible. Uh, the first salmon will finally come out uh, uh, in the end of uh, 26. Um, and uh, this is also pretty much the break-even point because salmon takes about two years to grow. We will, <clears throat> we will put it in a new batch every two months, um, which means as soon as the first batch comes out, uh, we will have revenues um, ramping up to about 50 million uh, per year uh, starting uh, the year uh, 27. So I try to keep it short. It's a very complex uh, project uh, in a very short time. I am I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the CTO of the company, and uh, yes, uh, th this is our core team, which is uh, Rudolf Reif, our CEO and founder, uh, me as a CFO, and Suna Murder as the CTO. We are currently running a, a crowd uh, investment uh, campaign to. Uh, to bridge it, uh, us uh, towards those, uh, uh, the planning phase, uh, to bridge the first phase. In parallel, we are also having discussions with project partners who would go, uh, uh, now I don't know the English word, Vorleistung, uh, who would finance a certain part of the, uh, of the Series A cash need, but we are still in need of, uh, uh, of a significant amount of money and uh, open for any discussions. Awesome. Thanks for pitching, Phil. I think the biggest question I have here is around defensibility and uh, the go-to-market. So is the, is the model then just by producing the salmon that it's, commodi it's a com commoditized enough that you'll be able to sell at market rates? Yes, uh, two things. Uh, uh, it's it's first of uh, uh, we are uh, will be producing a salmon which is uh, of uh, unbeatable quality, um, and uh, sec as, as secondly, what's important also is that it it has a longer shelf life because it's locally that doesn't need to be frozen and brought into the country. 
uh, it, it actually within 12 hours it can be uh, in any place in, 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 the, in the closer area which uh, gives it a, a, a better freshness and, uh, um, and a longer shelf life. And uh, from the uh, Swiss market, uh, by the year 32, we expect to, to take up about 8% of the market. Salmon is the most eaten fish in Switzerland. And 20% uh, of that production, we already have letter of intents from large fish dealers who are also willing to take much more because the market is moving in that direction in terms of having a, a fish that's sustainable and uh, and locally produced so that's a, that's a uh, it, it uh, meets a big demand in switzerland how do you tackle the salmon and the egg problem so to speak of you had so much money and funding just to get the project started to be then able to go forward so for instance you were looking at nine hundred thousand, and then a five million dollar series a without mm -hmm. there's not really a product there's not really something there and then Finally, once you had product for selling, that was a series B of 160 million, which yes. is e enormous. This isn't a traditional software scale business. What type of investors are the ideal investors for something like this? Uh, it depends on the phase. So, so first off, the seed, uh, seed phase is already completed. So we, the, the 900,000 we already raised. Uh, if you look at the 160 first, because that, that's the, uh, uh, the elephant in the room, uh, for the 160, typical investors would be uh, uh, infrastructure investors on one hand side and specialized aquaculture funds. And we have talked to a lot of them. And, uh, and, and where we are a bit is in a, 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 they typically come in when you have the construction permit. And once you have the construction permit, you also have a debt ability. So it's not all equity of those 160. The majority of the 160 million is uh, CAPEX, uh, which uh, is debtable to a certain degree. And, uh, and, and, and uh, to tackle that part, actually, we have a, a significant interest from different parties. And this goes uh, from known uh, uh, and probably may, maybe to you surprising partners like Siemens or, or, or um, to investment bankers who would be, uh, be willing to structure that, that piece. Uh, so in, in that sense, we have quite a list of, 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 of people or, or institutions that have an appetite. Uh, talking about the 5 million we need to, to get there, there uh, the typical profile would be more on the entrepreneurial side uh, of, uh, of uh, companies and privates uh, who are willing to take a, an extra risk to bring this project uh, over the, uh, uh, this construction permit line, which is, uh, uh, w w which is the most important milestone for us. For instance, business angels like SickTech and possibly large funds like Migros that are associated with <laughs> food. So I'm going to hand the, I'm going to hand this over to uh, hand this over to you guys. What questions do you have for Phil? Because I think you have more relevant uh, experience or uh, networks and skill sets here to contribute. I think it's a bit as you said, like uh, it needs it is so asset heavy. That is not the classical venture capital case, I say. Mm -hmm. Maybe for the first round, fair enough. Maybe there it is. But afterwards, uh, you need other type of financing. This is actually the sources you, you're, you're tapping into. But did I understand mm -hmm. this correctly? Like besides the financing part, with, the, with your construction, it's going to be one, this one construction site, you will be able to, to um, serve 8% of the Swiss population. That's correct. Uh, Eight percent of the uh, of of the projected uh, um, market need uh, of salmon. So, uh, so we will be producing about uh, three thousand four hundred tons of round fish. That's the full fish, uh, which uh, uh, which converts into about thousand nine hundred processed fish. Uh, we will do some of the processing at site, which is uh, uh, the filleting and head on gutted, which is uh, the fish without the the how do you say the inter interior? I'm missing the word in English. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> and, uh, um, and we'll be ramping up production from uh, 26 to 32. And in the year 32, we expect to be covering about 8% of the market. Yes. 
it's a bit a similar concept to what was the name lucky shrimp right but just for salmon yes yes and and, and really a high focus on two things uh, uh, how we uh, uh, differentiate ourselves is first off in uh, uh, in in being very sustainable and second uh, secondly of being very smart so we since we're starting from the green field we are uh, onboarding um, uh, um, smart uh, uh, companies using smart technology to really uh, drive forward the smartness. Uh, as an example, we'll be uh, uh, controlling our feed with sensors that uh, can detect whether the salmon is hungry or not. And this has two aspects. Uh, you don't feed him when he's not hungry and the food just goes through the water and you have to filter it out again. And secondly, it's more healthy and, and, and brings a higher animal welfare for the salmon because he's only fed at the moment he is hungry. And this is technologies we are bringing in uh, thanks to our uh, very knowledgeable CTO. I think in the end, that's what it will all break down to, to the technology risk that you'll be able to execute it and that uh, yeah, you'll be able to scale it uh, up to the, to the full ramp in the end. Yes, I mean, I, I wouldn't call it the only risk. That's a bit uh, uh, far-fetched. Of course, many, many, <laughs> of course, many risks. Uh, uh, there's <laughs> many risks, but uh, we have identified, I think, about 160 risks. Uh, uh, we have a risk mitigation uh, um, table with about 160 risks in four categories, and that would be uh, um, project risks, that is, you know, delaying projects, et cetera, et cetera. The typical risks you see, let's say the, uh, we have a delay in, in receiving a construction permit, et cetera, uh, over to operational risks uh, um, and, and technological risks, as you say. Yes, we, we have a very uh, detailed uh, table and have identified and, and, and found measures to mitigate those risks, yes. I have a question on, on your financials. If I remember correctly, you mentioned 50 million revenue by 2026. Yes. Or something like that. So is that up to full capacity then? Well, not by 2026. It's starting 2026. So we are having the first fish in in 26. And yeah. we'll ramp up to 50 million uh, by uh, uh, 2032. It could be that I wrote it wrong in the uh, in the slide okay. because it was very short notice. <laughs> I had about yeah, sure. an hour time. But, but, uh, but the, yes. the 50 million is, is the, the full, the whole farm running at full capacity. Yes, at, uh, with, with contingency, but yes. Okay. Mm. So beyond that, any, any way to scale that further? Or is it then really the, the linear business model, basically setting up a new factory, a new farm to, no, to bring uh, the, the next 50 million? That, that there is uh, several uh, uh, possibilities to expand. Uh, first off, if we stay at the farm uh, itself, which is on the right side uh, in this slide, I quickly pulled up again. Uh, what we are also looking at uh, uh, is, is at, a, 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 we call it nose to tail concept. So we don't only wanna sell the, the part of the salmon uh, that, uh, that that typical consumer would, would eat, like, like the filet, et cetera. But we want to use all the other parts. In the beginning, we are, we are starting with uh, two things, which is pet food and, uh, and also working together with a company that's connected to us uh, uh, to uh, take the, um, the cutoffs, the Abschnitte, and make them uh, uh, to Tartar, etc. But in the longer run, uh, there is a lot of uh, in, uh, interesting products you can do with, with the uh, with parts of the salmon like uh, like collagen uh, uh, for uh, for the women, um, you you can extract or you can use the the, the blood for plasma, etc. And we are setting up the processing in such a way that we separate all the uh, also the guts, etc. That we separate everything to be able to serve uh, different concepts <coughs> in that area. So that's one thing. And the other thing is. Uh, we will be looking at expansion. Actually, the moment we start construction, we'll be looking at expansion because uh, we have put together a team that is uh, uh, able to um, uh, um, uh, to plan such a site, and, and the planning periods are pretty long. So we will uh, uh, we have a plot uh, on the left side there, which is which is. Uh, 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 labeled expansion where we could do other species or the same species uh, uh, and further expand.
And what about expansion into international markets, franchising, et cetera? Is that something where you're purely focused on Switzerland? Is Doc region a, no, a, a topic? Uh, we are not. Uh, pure. Well, let's say yes and no. Uh, the, uh, the project in its magnitude it is now, it, it, it's, uh, it's, at, it's currently in the financial model and in the business model, a closed project for the farm itself. But uh, what will naturally happen is, is as we evolve, uh, we will have a team that's able to, uh, to multiply its knowledge. Uh, we, and we have uh, many of, of, of the planning instruments we are using and we are building, and also the smartness we are bringing in, we'll, we will be able to multiply that also internationally. So that could uh, very well be an avenue of, uh, um, of an expansion. But we're still awesome. too early stage to actually have that uh, uh, on a larger scale on paper. Understood. Plus, with the, the amount of money and capital it takes, it is yeah. a it is a slower process to plan out. No point yes. going too far into the future. Yes.